haven't looked at our answers yet, so we're gonna find out. Ding, 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 ding. We are going international today. They turned off all the power to the plane. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Hunter if you're new here. For those of you who are already subscribed, welcome back to my channel. So I just got up, I'm about to get ready for work. I'm starting a three day trip today. But this is not just any three day trip, you guys. This trip is going to be mostly controlled by none other than Trolley Dolly here on YouTube. I'm sure most of you watching my channel know who Lindsay is. I'm sure a lot of you subscribe to her channel. But if you haven't subscribed to her channel, make sure to go do that right now. I will leave a link down to her channel in the description box. She is going to be controlling where I eat, what I drink, what I do on my layovers, what I do at the airport. She is going to have a full range of that. I'm going to leave her polls on Instagram that she can answer and tell me what to do. And I will screenshot those for you guys and add them throughout the video. But before I jump into the video, I want to give a message directly from Lindsay, aka Trolley Dolly herself. So let's hear what she has to say. Hey everyone, my name is Lindsay. I am a flight attendant and flight attendant vlogger here on YouTube. I am also known as Trolley Dolly. Please make sure after you watch Hunter's video, you come over onto my page and watch the video that I created for you guys as well. This collab was so much fun to film. I am so excited that we decided to collab up. We tried getting together in real life, but it just didn't work out at this time. So we decided to do a collab over the interwebs together. If you haven't been over to my channel, like I said, please make sure you do come over as soon as you are done watching Hunter's video and make sure you follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, all of the social medias. And please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And once you do come over to my video, make sure you give it a thumbs up as well. We want to hear from you guys and we want to know that you guys like these kinds of collabs so that we can make future content for you guys. I want to keep this video really short so it doesn't interrupt Hunter's videos. So let's get back into it. You guys, so now that we have heard from Lindsay, I am going to go finish getting ready, get my uniform on and head out to the airport. It's about a two hour drive. So I will talk to you guys when I get there. All right, guys, so I just got to the airport. The first stop on my agenda today is to get something for lunch because I'm hungry. It's oh, literally one o'clock now and I haven't eaten anything yet today. So I let Lindsay pick what I'm gonna have for lunch today. I haven't looked at her answers yet, so we're gonna find out. All right, oh, she picked Pei Wei. Really? Okay, so I put one option that I really like and one option that I don't really like and she picked Pei Wei, which is the option that I don't like too much. But you know what? I'm gonna make the best of it. I'm gonna try to find something that I like there. I'm sure I can. I like everything. I know John for a fact is not gonna eat Payway because he's a very picky eater. So I guess I'm on my own on this one. I guess let's go find something to eat. All right, guys, this is how dumb I am. This airport doesn't even have a Payway. It's Panda Express. That's what I meant to put in the bowl. So we're just gonna go with Panda Express. Sorry about that. That shows you literally how much I don't like it. <laughs> Please. And then can I get that grilled teriyaki chicken? And what else? Uh, the teriyaki chicken. Just that. That's it, only one? Yeah. We just finished having lunch. Of course, I already knew that John was not going to eat Panda Express because he's the pickiest eater right now. So now it is time for us to go to Starbucks. I let Lindsay choose between getting Starbucks or Dunkin' and I saw that she picked Starbucks already, but I also let her pick my drink. So let's see what she picked. She said salted caramel foam cold brew. All right, that doesn't sound bad. It seems like something I'd probably like. A new drink added to my Starbucks bucket list. So let's head over to Starbucks and try that out. Can I get the um, salted caramel cold, cold foam cold brew? Thanks, you too. I get so nervous trying stuff for the first time. Oh my god, this is so good. Why does it low-key give me um, butterbeer vibes from Harry Potter? Thanks, Lynn. This is good. I didn't think I was gonna like this, but this is pretty freaking good. So we just got over to the gate. I don't know if I told you guys this, but we're dead heading to Raleigh right now to work a Boston turn. And then we lay over in Raleigh and then tomorrow we do the same thing again. So super easy trip. Um, since we are dead heading though, I'm just gonna like watch a movie or something. I asked Lindsay on Instagram what I should watch. I said, should I watch Netflix or should I watch YouTube? Let's see what she said. Oh, YouTube. Good choice. So I guess that means I need to download some shows. John, what are you gonna watch? I don't know. 
I think I downloaded that new season of The Sinner. Never heard of it. I'm like the least like watch TV person. Literally all I watch is YouTube. The weather is quickly deteriorating in Orlando. I was looking at the boards. So many flights are canceled and delayed. Loki wouldn't mind getting canceled, so maybe we'll cross our fingers for that. All right, so I downloaded some videos. Hopefully this will last me the quick hour and 20 minute flight. Oh guys, I've been obsessed with this girl, Violin MD. She's so good. Check her out. Hey guys, so we are in Raleigh Durham right now. We just deadheaded here from Orlando. We're about to work this quick Boston turn. Hopefully it's gonna be like less than an hour and a half each way. Fingers crossed. It was a little bit bumpy coming here, so hopefully it's a little bit smoother. Although I was looking, there is a lot of weather between here and Boston. Not good. It's probably gonna be a little bit bumpy, but it should be quick. Hopefully, like I said, I am gonna go get the time and everything, get all the information for this flight, and I will talk to you guys maybe when I get to Boston. If not, I'll talk to you guys when we get back to Raleigh. There's actually really good lighting right here, so I'm glad that I picked here to vlog. We are in Boston right now, and we're a little bit delayed. We're like an hour delayed now, but for some reason, I don't know why, they turned off all the power to the plane. So I'm on the plane, there's no power. I mean, there's like emergency lighting on the ceiling, but that's it. Like, I tried to touch the computer in the front, it didn't turn on. I'm like, all right, did the pilots forget we're here or? I don't know. So we're just hanging out, waiting for the pilots to get here. All right, so it looks a lot brighter on camera, but in person, it's a lot darker. But you guys can see, like, only the emergency lights are on right now. Usually there's, like, lights along the wall, lights along the overhead bins, you know, but we're just on Halloween mode, early Halloween. All right, hello, Raleigh. First time laying over here. That's cute. Big bathroom. Any murderers, good on that. This room's nice. It's pretty big, actually, low key. Guys, I don't know if I didn't press record or what happened, but I definitely sat down and filmed a nighttime segment to this part of the video. I asked Lindsay if I should get pizza or Uber Eats, and it was like 2.30 in the morning. I remember talking about this vividly that we were delayed, and I don't know what had happened, but just to tell you guys, Lindsay picked that I got Uber Eats, so we ordered wings, and that was that. So, sorry I don't have that clip for some reason, but just know that we ordered wings to the hotel. Hey guys, good morning. It is the next day now. I just got up, got out of the shower. I asked Lindsay over on Instagram what I should do today. I don't have a shuttle until 4.30, so I said, should I stay here, film an intro to her video, or if I should go out and explore, because I've never been to Raleigh before, and she said that I should go out and explore around the hotel, so that is what I'm gonna do. John is being a lazy bum over there in bed. What a lame. He does want to go out with me. He just wants to stay here and watch Grey's Anatomy. Like, how many surgeries can you watch on there? But no shade because I like Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> so I'm going to head downstairs and we're going to see what trouble we can get into. I don't even really know what's around here. I think there's like a Cracker Barrel and like a Bojangles. I don't know. But we're going to go see what we can get into and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. What are you doing in bed? <laughs> what are you doing being shy? So it's a little humid out here so my camera's kind of foggy, that really sucks. But I've been walking for about 20 minutes and I've not had much luck. Let me show you guys what I found so far. So over there is a Bojangles. I've never had that before so maybe that might be an option for today. Right there is a Hooters. Um, probably not going to go there. And then across the street, like over there, is a church. Let me see if I can get the sign. Hold on. Come on. Come on, camera. Sorrel's Grove. I think it's a Baptist church. I didn't really realize, for the most part, this hotel is around nothing. Like, there's like a main road and that's it. Like I said, I literally walked here for like 20 minutes and this is how far we've got. So, I guess out of these options, we're either gonna have to go to Bojangles, Hooters or the Baptist Church. <laughs> um, I think Lindsay went to Hooters. Yeah, she definitely did in one of her vlogs. She bought pantyhose there, I remember. So should I go there or should I go to Bojangles? I've been to Hooters before and I kind of don't really want to go there alone. I think that's a little bit awkward for me. So I guess we'll try Bojangles. I think it's like chicken, right? I don't know. Let's find out. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, well this is what I got. It's just like chicken and fries basically, so I definitely will probably like this. Hey 
Hey guys, just got back to the hotel. I asked Lindsay over on Instagram if I should work on my bids. Thank God she picked that. Or if I should watch Grey's Anatomy and she picked bids, which my bids are due tomorrow, so I'm really glad she picked that because I actually need to work on them. So I'm gonna sit down over at this desk and do my bidding. I don't know, I'm just debating right now if I wanna do four days or three days next month. I need to work a lot next month because I didn't work a lot this month. I mean, there was good reason behind it though, so I'm not like mad at myself, but I need to work a lot next month. I'm trying to do like 90 hours. That's a lot for me, guys. So I'm gonna sit down and work on my bids and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. You're a rebel, getting into trouble. You are kinda like a fire, like a fire, like a fire. Unpredictable. So original, you were never backing down, backing down, backing down. That's what I like about you. I'm about to work another Boston turn, so quick, easy turn. It's like less than two hours each way. I asked her if I should get either a strawberry refresher or the salted caramel cold foam cold brew. That's seriously a mouthful to get out. And she said, duh, the cold foam cold brew because it's so good. I had that yesterday like you guys saw. Definitely an A1 drink, top choice. Definitely 10 out of 10 recommend. So I sent John over there to get it for me, so hopefully he orders it right. He's not always the best with this. Just kidding, I love him. They're out of the salted caramel. So they're out of the salted caramel cold from cold brew, so I got the strawberry refresher. That was the other choice on the poll. So sorry, Lindsay. I can't help it. I really wanted that drink, though. Just picked up the salad from California Pizza Kitchen. I think this should hold me over for a two-hour flight, don't you guys think? It looks good. on the plane we're doing up another Boston turn today we're flying on the Airbus 319 our smallest plane we have here it only holds 145 passengers which may seem like a lot but we have planes that hold over 200 so a little bit of a small guy today just a quick turn like I said up and down and we should be back hopefully soon no delays like you guys saw we were a little bit delayed last night hoping for that not to happen again just finished doing our safety checks we're about to board and I will talk to you guys later tonight so we are in Boston right now and I ran off the plane real quick to grab this you guys know Lindsay told me to get the salted caramel cold from gold brew at the airport and they didn't have it earlier but I successfully completed the task and now I have it. We're back in Raleigh dorm right now it is 105 in the morning oh my gosh you can't see me anymore come come back there we go we did a quick Boston turn tonight and everything went smoothly no delays we're back at the hotel now I asked Lindsay on Instagram what we should do when we get back tonight I'm talking quietly because it is so late I asked her if we should go to bed when we got here or if we should watch a movie and she picked that we should watch a movie so we're gonna watch murder mystery on Netflix it's with Jennifer Aniston and Ben Stiller Ben Affleck Someone like that. It looks like a pretty good movie. I'll let you guys know if you Adam like it or Sandler. not. Adam Sandler. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Okay, guys. Well, Jennifer Aniston and Adam, St Adam Sandler. Oh, my God. Literally blonde moment. The lighting kind of sucks in here right now because it's literally just that light right there. But I say this in all my vlogs. We're gonna make the best of it. That should be like my new slogan. Like if I ever made merch. We're gonna make the best of it. I feel like that's my life motto right now. All right, well, John and I are gonna start the movie and I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. Hello, hi. Are we oh my gosh, guys, me. And Good morning. It's really early. It's like, well, it's not really early, but um, compared to what time we went to bed last night, it feels early. Um, it's about 9 a.m. right now. Uh, I don't have to be up until 10. The alarm just went off. John wanted to go to breakfast this morning. I'm not huge on breakfast to begin with. I'm not really like a morning eater. 
But I asked Lindsay on Instagram if I should go to breakfast with John this morning downstairs or if I should um, just relax and sleep in a little bit. And she said to sleep in. So I was happy with that answer. I was like, okay, no problem. So John just left me I'm all alone up here. And I'm gonna go back to bed for like an hour because we have a long day today. Um, three legs, two of those legs are three hours long, so it's gonna be a long day. I'll tell you guys a little more about that in a little bit. But for now, I'm gonna close my eyes and go back to bed. I just forgot to tell you guys something. So, last night, well this was maybe like, I don't know, maybe like four or five o'clock this morning, the microwave started dinging like crazy. It was like, ding, 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 ding. And I was like, what? I thought it was the alarm clock, so I was like turning off the alarm clock and it was still happening. And I'm like, what is going on? So then I thought it was like the smoke detector. And I'm like, well, I don't know what's happening. And then we deciphered that it was the microwave. It was crazy, guys. I was like, is this from Haunted? And I was like, whatever. I don't have time to deal with this. I need to go back to sleep. So that's my little weird story from last night. Um, time for bed now, though. Good night. Hi guys, just got out of the shower, finished packing up all my stuff. John just went downstairs. I'm about to head downstairs in a couple minutes. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about what we're doing today. We are going international today. That is exciting, I'm excited. We are going to El Salvador. So today we are doing one leg from Raleigh to Orlando and then we do an El Salvador turn. So we go to El Salvador and back. Do you guys hear that? Is that the phone? I'm scared. Hello? Yeah, it is. Hey. Okay. Yeah, we are. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh. Guys, that was the front desk. We're delayed until 2.15. That's not too bad. It's like two and a half hour delay. It's all right. I just wasn't expecting that. That scared me. So you guys know I told you about the microwave last night? Yeah, that was like on the same level of like, what the heck? Yeah, anyway, like I said, El Salvador turn. You know what's going on. I gotta head downstairs and I'm gonna be late. I need to find my watch and then I will talk to you guys when I get to the airport. We just got on the plane. Once we got to the airport, they had pushed up our flight again, so we weren't as delayed. I was trying to get some food. I asked Lindsay on Instagram if I should get the barbecue place or California Pizza Kitchen, but I didn't even have time to get it, so I deleted the poll. We're on the plane now, one leg to Orlando, then the El Salvador turn, then we're done for the night. Still getting home around 11. It's so loud on here, oh my gosh. Anyways, you guys get the gist. I will talk to you guys when we get to Orlando or El Salvador. One of the two places. We're in El Salvador. There's literally no planes and it's gray, but we're here. So we're in El Salvador. We have a little bit of time, so they let us get off the plane. Just picked up some souvenirs. John got a coffee. Show us your coffee. Yum. We are headed back to the plane right now. Um, I'm gonna insert the footage here of the souvenirs that I got in case you guys wanted to see that. This airport's really nice. There's a lot of cute little stores. Where is Bonita? <laughs> Trying to find our other crew member. She must be back at the gate already. All right, guys, we're about to head on the plane in. Possibly I'll talk to you a little bit. If you don't hear from me, I will insert the footage of us shopping and we'll go from there. I wanted to get something from one of the gift shops while we're here, like a magnet or something cute. One of these. Hi. That's so cute. Which one should I get? Um, maybe this one, this is cute. Oh, this is cute though. I picked up these little pouches too. I thought they were cute, just as like a little gift to someone, maybe my mom or someone, John's mom. And then this is the magnet I picked up. I thought it was cute, the little girl on the boat. All right, we're quesadillas? Si. What kind? I don't know. Like cheese? Si. Queso? Si. Oh, cheese quesadilla. It's different. Candy. All right guys, we are back home now in Orlando. We are finally done with this trip. It was an easy trip though, but I'm pretty tired after today. It was a long day. 
We are back at the Starbucks. Can you guys even see that? I don't know, you guys can't really see it. We're back at the Starbucks where this whole vlog started. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed to Lindsay's channel, go check her out, the link is down below. Definitely subscribe to her, she posts videos all the time and they're so good, her editing is on fleek, so you don't wanna miss that. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below. Click the bell next to it so you don't miss anything. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and leave me a comment down below. I respond to all of your comments, good or bad, so leave that down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.